What we're going to do is we're going to put another layer of red on our, our, our wine. Because with having worked on the background and softened up our edges, I want to put another layer of paint on our, our wine here. And we're going to put a little bit of paint on the edge of the apple. We want the wine, the wine and the glass of wine to be in the painting the way the bottle is in the painting now. The way we've done the bottle, the bo we put the bottle into the painting, it's not on top of the painting. We want the wine in the painting, not on top of the painting. We want this apple to be in the painting and not on top of the painting. So that's why we're going to do what we're going to do here. And here again, remember how when we do the Hoglum tree, we start with the number two, then do the number three, then go to the number one. Well, what we're going to do here is we are going to go to, we're going to start with the dark. We're going to use the dark green and grab just a little bit of that red. And we're going to look at this edge of our wine and we're going to see that it's a very, very thin ellipse. We're, we're seeing the leading edge of a thin ellipse here. That is the top of the wine, the, up, the top surface of the wine that's in our wine glass. And we start with that dark and we come down a little bit. And what we also do is we kind of soften our edge out here on the extremity of our wine glass. We kind of soften that edge there, come down. And we're going to be able to soften our edge here a little bit. Now, where our drawing is a little bit off, where we're not symmetrical, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to be able to cor correct any asymmetrical qualities later on as, we, as the painting develops. But we want to be in control here. We want that nice dark right there. Now, as we look at the photograph, what do we see? We see some very light colors down here and some very light colors up there, light and warm colors. I'm going to make this just a little bit darker, take a little bit of blue, and I want to get this a little bit darker on this edge right here. All right, and now I'm going to go to my orange and a little touch of this cadmium red, and I'm going to put a couple of these strokes in here that correlate to some of what we're seeing in the photograph. We see some there. We see a little bit, a little bit darker, a little bit redder over here like that now we see some slightly lighter colors we see some of these reflected lights down in here or some of these colors that are associated with the somewhat transparent nature of this wine and we soften our edges there and there's also a couple of kind of secondary spots that are in there and we're going to take this real light spot right here where is it it's right about here all right so I want you to get this stuff in there before you leave today so that we are going to have this to work on as our foundation for next week. All right? We're not going to need any more than that. Okay? Well, we use the dark, the red, the dark red, and the cadmium red medium. 
with the dark green to get that dark on the leading edge of the wine. And then we use the cadmium red medium and the orange to get some of these lighter, lighter lights just to, just to get that going. I'm going to take a little bit of the strength out of that. And we'll be working on the wine glass uh, more next time. Okay, now we've done this with the wine glass just to set things up for our next sitting. So now I'm going to come over, I'm going to take a little bit of a dark red and I'm going to do a little bit of softening of the edge around the apple. I'm just going to be very, very delicate about softening the edge of my apple. And now take a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of white, a touch of this yellow. I'm going to try to, as I look at the photograph, I see that light portion of the apple comes up over the edge here. And I want to kind of lose the edge of the apple back here. That's why I'm softening these edges as I am. And I'm setting the stage. I'm in the process of trying to set the apple into the painting, not being on top of the painting. Soft edges. Now, very, very carefully softening my edges and getting a lighter portion of the apple in here. Getting a little bit more, introducing a little more of a green by using the cadmium yellow and the, and the turquoise. Uh, not the, yeah, the cadmium yellow and the turquoise. Just trying to get a little bit more of a light as we see a little bit of green. I'm trying to introduce a little bit of the green that we see in that apple. And this again is prep, prep, uh, preparation for coming back next time and doing a little bit more of a finishing job. But this is still preparation. Now we soften the edges, and now we're in good shape for next time. Now, we are going to be getting some lighter lights in the apple. We're going to get some darker darks in the apple. But what we've done here is just setting the stage for coming back to it next time. And next time we come back, we're going to again start from the back and work forward. We may tweak the background here a little bit, maybe a little lighter, a little warmer. We're probably going to tr tweak the shadow on this label on the bottle we're probably going to put a little darker dark in there we're probably going to come back onto the wine glass then and try to isolate and identify the extremities of the crystal on the wine glass make it look a little bit more like crystal we'll return to the apple get some darker darks in there maybe some lighter lights and then as we work our way forward we're going to be uh, going into these grapes this is the base for the grapes, and we're going to be working with that. And again, as we come back to the paintings, we work from the back and come forward, and progressively, as the back gets finished, we'll be progressing forward and gradually finishing off things in the front and trying to come up with a nice traditional classical 
uh, simple design still life. Okay, we'll see you next time.